Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching the English News Bung Phuc Radio Television Stations and Newspaper. I'm Hung Kek and now the headline at user. Ensuring job and stabilizing work life. Local men promote online sales of flowers. Party chief Miss Voter in Hanoi. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman of the Binfuk Province of People Committee had requested that head of department, agency, and units pay more attention to employment issues and have planned to support workers in this. Under dispatch number 2113, relevant parties are required to adopt timely and effective solutions and measures to ensure stable employment and incomes for workers. They also asked to implement solutions to promptly prevent employees from being induced or controlled by forces from outside who wish to create social instability that will affect production and business activities as well as workers. The dispatch also urges relevant parties to coordinate with social insurance agencies to make correct and timely payments to workers while actively organizing job fairs with the application of digital technology to help employees find employment more easily. Many households in the border district of Lok Nguyen in Binh Phuc province had joy in developing the circular economy over recent years, amidst volatile and rising agricultural inputs and animal feed prices. Circular agriculture is a reasonable way to reduce input costs, improve economic efficiency, and protect the environment and human health. <laughs> The border district of Lok Ning has nearly 578,000 heads of cashew and more than 1 million heads of poultry. Not only large livestock farms, but also many households have pursued the circular economy, combining raising goals with growing pepper, raising cows and goats with growing grass, developing the garden, barn, biogas model, and integrating raising goats and chicken with growing pepper, grass and fruit trees, bringing higher value to farmers. In order for farmers to adapt to the new way of production, relevant agencies in the district have helped them apply science and technology in production and animal husbandry. These agencies have guided farmers in technical processes, clean agriculture, organic agriculture, and safe and hygienic agricultural production. They gave priority to training and replicated effective models towards sustainable agricultural production. Hoza Kanosta, also known as the porcelain flower or wax plants, is a species of flowering plant in the dog plant family Upper Sinaxia. It is one of the many species of hoza that are native to Eastern Asia and Australia. In Bing Phu, a young man, Do Van Phuc, from Bing Le Village in Phu Minh Commune, Phu Sam of District, decided to start a business with the flower and is taking it as far as he can by learning how to take advantage of digital platforms to promote his products. From a few basic flower varieties that are easy to grow, Mr. Phuc's 0.8 hectare Hoya Canosa Garden now has more than 400 species. Hoya Canosa is still quite new and not known to many people in Vietnam, so in order to promote sales to many customers, Mr. Phuc has used technology and put the flower on e-trading floors. Every year, his Hoya Canosa production brings food and income in the hundreds of millions of dong. Hoya Canosa blooms all year round. New blossoms are durable and their fragrance spreads far and wide. Each flowering can last from one to two weeks. In particular, Hoya Canosa has many varieties in different colors such as red, pink, white, blue, and yellow. The piston is always different from the color of the petals, creating a strange and attractive beauty.
Ladies and gentlemen, Party General Secretary Nguyễn Phú Trọng met with Walter in Hanoi, Hai Ba Trưng, Baden and Dongda districts on July the 1st to inform them about outcome of recent fifth sections of the 15th National Assembly. The local voters noted that the quality of the sitting's question and answer session was improved, with queries focusing on issues of public concern, which received clear responses from ministers. The voters expressed their absolute confidence in the leadership of the party and the state, and their delight at the results of party building and rectification, especially the fight against corruption and negative phenomena. The party leader said he hopes that the Hanoi Party Committee, authorities and people will make more contributions to the nation, firstly to the city's development. He also urged Hanoi's delegation of National Assembly deputies to raise more practical opinions and promote the spirit of criticism. We have more new coming up next. Let's take a look. A ceremony was held in St. Petersburg City, Russia, to inaugurate the statue of President Ho Chi Minh. The three-meter-tall bronze statue of President Ho Chi Minh is placed on a 1.5-meter high pedestal. The president is shown as sitting solemnly, with his right hand holding a book, a posture described by the designers as dynamic in stillness symbolizing his profound ideological insights during his journey to Russia. The statue will serve as a new symbol of friendship between the two countries and will become a prominent destination for Vietnamese guests, Russian and international friends. After many market fluctuations in the first quarter of 2023, Vietnam's exports of vegetables and fruits saw positive moves in the second quarter. Statistics released by the General Department of Vietnam Customs showed that Vietnam's fruit and vegetable exports reached more than 1 billion US dollars in June, raising the figure in the first half of this year to 2.75 billion US dollars, over 63% higher than that of the same period last year. The Vietnam Fruit and Vegetables Association said, the export revenue in June set a record so far, thanks to China's opening to many Vietnamese fruits, such as durian and grapefruit. China led the top five importers of Vietnam's vegetables and fruits, with exports to the country accounting for more than 63% of Vietnam's total export value. If the upward trend continues until the end of 2023, Vietnam can hit the export goal of 5 billion US dollars, set by the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development for 2025. So Vietnam is still in the process of developing a set of criteria for sustainable development. It is clear that it must us now, as sustainable development is not a cost or a burden, but an investment and an opportunity for businesses. Sustainable development and the harmonious combination of economic efficiency with social responsibility, natural resources, and environmental protection is a topic of increasing attention in the community. This is also the development mindset of this business in Vietnam. While businesses considered sustainable development to be a job for the future a few years ago and something only for the big guys to focus on, the future has now come. Experts believe that applying environment, social, governance, ESG, criteria in production, and business is an indispensable requirement for modern businesses if they wish to raise their position and increase their opportunity to reach customers and expand markets. A sustainable development strategy closely linked to business goals is seen as a prerequisite for business success. Therefore, businesses are advised to see this as an opportunity instead of a burden. And that is for the edition of PPTV News. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.